Hey, Joe, we a fantastic Tuesday. Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show, and let's just jump into it. The first thing we're going to talk about today is the story that oh, just Oh, hey, guys. Yes, I was just watching Philip DeFranco, and uh, I wanted to let you guys know that we finally have the highly requested I'm Here for the Chaos in Gold Foil available on my merch store. You can get it for a limited time using the link in the description below. All the money made directly supports me and my channel. Thank you so much. Wait a second. Jaden just went to Japan. And Jaden just made a video about going to Japan. There's only one logical explanation for this. Up, 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 up. Before you get your noodles in a knot, my boyfriend Chris and I planned this trip months ago. The reason we went actually was to celebrate his dad's 80th birthday. So, ha! On Christmas Eve Eve, Chris and I flew from Los Angeles to Japan. Er, well, we couldn't get a direct flight, so first we flew from Los Angeles to San Francisco, then San Francisco to South Korea, then South Korea to Japan. This obviously wasn't our plan. See, on the day of the trip, we realized our flights and seats had been changed without our knowledge, so on the 11-hour flight to South Korea, Chris and I couldn't sit together. We asked people if they'd be willing to move, but they were either already seated with their family or didn't understand English. This is probably a good time to mention that I have major plane anxiety. This was my first international flight, my first time outside the country, and of course, my first time going to Japan. Nice. Chris, however, spent a lot of his childhood in Japan. He and his twin brother, Nick, went to elementary and middle school near Tokyo. So of course, and thankfully, he's fluent in Japanese and knew the area. So despite not being able to sit with him during our super long flight, I felt a lot better knowing he'd have this whole trip under control. But when we landed in South Korea, my brother texted me this. It wouldn't be an Illumination video without something sad happening, would it? I know this is out of left field to talk about, and maybe it's not important to you, but this was devastating for me. My family woke up on Christmas Eve back in North Carolina to discover Cheeto, my cat I had since third grade, suddenly didn't have the energy to eat or drink or move. When I left North Carolina to go to college in California four years ago, I always told myself that if anything happened to Cheeto, I would fly out on the first plane home to be there. And I really thought I'd be able to do that. But when my family took Cheeto to the vet, they found out she had severe kidney failure, and she'd been suffering in silence for quite a while. The only thing they could do now was put her down. And they had to make that decision without me, because I was on that 11-hour overnight flight to South Korea. And even if I was in my apartment in California, there was no way I could get a last-minute flight across the country home to North Carolina on Christmas Eve. The best they could do was get a hold of me as soon as they could, try to tell me all that just happened, and hope I would still have a good time in Japan, and somehow, a uh, Merry Christmas. Chris and I arrived in Tokyo later that day. It was really cold, so Chris got us a warm milk tea from the vending machines which was pretty cool and it tasted really good. Japan has a lot of vending machines. They're everywhere. Chris taught me some basic phrases that would come in handy, like, and I hope I say these right, Sumasen, arigato gozaimasu, and gomenasai, neko ga shinda. The clerks were really nice in understanding that I was obviously a foreigner and nihango wakarimasen. I was rushing to put my money back in my wallet when a really nice clerk said, it's fine, you don't have to rush. It's okay to take your time with things. And I really appreciated hearing that. Since we were staying with Chris's family outside of Tokyo, we took a bullet train there. We met up with Chris's twin brother, Nick, and his good friend, Kara, who was also here for the first time, and then we all met up with their dad for sushi. Hajimemashite, Irisa desu. I don't know, I don't I hope I'm saying this right. Chris isn't here to tell me. Ah, Irisa ka. Kirei na namae desu ne. Dou genki, Nihon wa dou dai? Ha 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 ha. Hi. <laughs> His dad didn't speak any English, and I didn't speak much Japanese, so 
Chris did a really good job translating for us. The next day, we celebrated Chris's dad's birthday. Our day started off walking his dog, Sarah, exploring their hometown, and going to a local cafe. After that, we picked up food for his birthday party and made hamburgers for everyone. I met all of his work friends, who were so happy that I was trying to communicate with the little Japanese that I knew. One of his work friends played the song from Spirited Away on the piano. Kara did some amazing ballet, like, right on the spot. His friends sang Happy Birthday and played ukulele. And even though I couldn't understand anything anyone was saying, my heart felt warm. And it wasn't the Hello Kitty wine. On day three, we walked around the city to do some touristy things, and I started writing this script on my phone. I told Chris how I was trying to figure out how to write about Japan, considering my cat just died. I couldn't exactly tell one story without the other. I think you're rushing to a conclusion. It's only been three days, and you're trying to come up with the lesson you learned. You haven't even let yourself grieve yet. Hey, uh, you know those cat figurines you wanted to find? There's a museum of them right up ahead. You want to check them out? We ended up going to the wrong museum at first, but I managed to find exactly what I was looking for. Later that day, I had the opportunity to go to a Japanese bathhouse. The best way to describe it is like a public pool, but bathtubs. And everyone's naked. I decided not to go for that reason, also because I have a tattoo in honor of my grandmother. And Nick told me tattoos in Japan mean you're part of the Yakuza. Wait, Chris, what's the Yakuza? Japanese mafia. Oh! Day four! Chris and I had a heart-to-heart -heart about stealing blankets at night. So, we had a bunk bed, but the top one was smaller than the bottom one, and we couldn't fit, but the heater, the heat would get trapped up there, and then we couldn't, we, we weren't warm. It was really cold. So, while we were looking for more blankets in the closet, Chris found his middle school sports jacket and some socks, and I took them, and then I made a nest on the top bunk. Day five! Or, it might still be day four. I... Time zones are, like, really confusing. So this might have been the same day. I don't know. On our last full day with Chris's dad, I wanted to show my appreciation by taking us all out to his favorite restaurant. After that, we went to the expo park and had some tea inside a little cafe. And then we took the train home. Wait a second. Day six, I think. The next morning, I left Chris's dad a note saying, thank you so much for having us. I'll see you next Christmas. I've obviously never written anything in kanji, but I tried my best. We went back down to Tokyo and met up with one of Chris's childhood friends, Taka. He had actually visited us last year in the States for the ultimate American Thanksgiving experience. So he returned the favor by giving us the ultimate Tokyo tourist experience. I'm talking Pokemon Center, Soba, Harajuku, whatever this beautiful place was, streets, temples, more streets, fancy dinner with friends, cotton candy, and long potato. Of course, part of this trip includes traveling home, and thankfully our flights were not changed. However, we did have an 18-hour layover in, you guessed it, South Korea, which meant sleeping in the airport, another thing I've never done before. And that's when Chris discovered a place called the Nap Zone. Now you may think nap refers to sleep, but don't let those weird beds and dim lighting fool you. Nap stands for no need to watch your children. Also, don't forget to talk on the phone and open the loudest bag of potato chips. Anyway, 18 hours later, we boarded our flight back to Los Angeles. Thankfully, Chris and I were able to sit together the whole way this time. But we did promise each other that if something unexpected happened again, we would figure it out together. For all that happened in the last week of 2018, I've come to this conclusion. Flights change and cats die, which might sound morbid, but bear with me. Nothing will prepare you for the things you're afraid of. Nothing will keep you from falling apart when something awful happens. No books, no magazine articles, no words of advice will keep you from experiencing those irrational reactionary emotions. And that is okay. When my family told me Cheeto died, I fell apart right then and there, right in the middle of a South Korean airport at seven in the morning. I was sobbing, I was shaking, I was cursing. And I wasn't hidden away in a bathroom stall. No, this was at the gate in front of hundreds of people. I didn't get to choose under which circumstances to experience grief, let alone where in the world. No one gets to choose that. There is no perfect time or way to process grief. My family felt so bad telling me this right before my amazing vacation and on Christmas Day. They were worried that it would ruin my time in Japan. But honestly, it didn't. After I was done crying, after I wiped my tears, I thought of a way to combine the sadness of losing Cheeto and the excitement of this awesome trip. So at the Maineki Neko Museum, I hope I said that right, I got this for my mom, this one for my brother, these for myself, and these two matching ones. One for me and one for my family. I know it's a lot of cats and I know this is all a lot to process, but like Chris taught me to say, Daijoubu. Okay. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get really good at sitting in trash cans after this. <laughs> Someone please adopt me. I like cats and long walks indoors. I think I got looked at funny by a few people, so please buy my shirt. 
All the money made directly supports me and my channel. Thank you so much. Did I touch the mic again? Yeah, but it was very little. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>